Alright, welcome back guys. Something important that I left out of the last video was a entry into our table of contents. So the way we go about adding an entry line for the table of contents is of course we add a ta something to the table of contents. It is a section and we're going to call it references. So if we do that, or rather, let's also include the number line. Okay, so if we do that and build once more, there we have our references on page four. So uh, just a quick note about that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an appendix, and this one's gonna be really quick and easy. So after our references, we're going to clear the rest of the page, and then we are going to start our appendix. Uh, let's create a first section of our appendix. Our So appendix starts here. Okay, our section is gonna be called uh, back matter words. I can't think of anything creative relevant to Tobias right here. So let's just get something quick. All right, so if I put this together and I build this, here we have it. It all automatically starts labeling it A. So, you know, like Appendix A, Appendix B. This is the appendix. We have our page numbering. Uh, we can kill that if we want by clearing the style, just like how we did uh, for our table of contents. And in our table of contents, we build again, our appendix automatically shows up. It's registered as a section. So that's all there is to it, to getting a appendix installed into your report. And then everything else should remain the same. So your formatting is the same for the appendix, uh, the code for figures, text, whatever, it's all the same for the appendix. So that's how you get appendices going in your report. In the next video, I'm going to show you Another one on making lists. This is also going to be a really quick one. So I'll see you then.